Hello once again, this is your teacher Jenny and welcome to another math with me as your guide. So this time we are now going to discuss on finding the area of the normal distribution for your z equal to zero until z, certain value of z, sorry on that one. Now, how to get the area so this is easier when your case is like this when your area is connected to your center which is your mean which is also equal to zero because we have here standard normal distribution so your mean is equal to zero now how do we get the area so again you can make use of your illustration in there to find the area so this is very important. You have to know how to illustrate so that you can find your area as well. So illustrating, we can locate 1.23 somewhere here on the right side of your mean. So this is this one. And we can just draw a line connecting to the curve. And we, what we are looking for as an area is the area in between your z equal to 0 until z equal to 1.23. So this is now the area that we are trying to look for. Now, since your area is now connected, it's clearly seen that your area is connected to the middle or the center or the mean or to 0. Automatically, you will be looking that one up on the z table. So looking that up on the z table, we have 1.23. This is one, how to look for the z value there or the, the area on your z table. This is gonna be, we take on the first two digit of your z value. So this is gonna be one and two. So we locate that one on the column, this one here. And then your third digit, which is this one here, the three, that is located on the header. So advice is you have to look at the last digit on the header there, and that will be the last digit also on the Z score or the Z value. So locating, we have 1.2 here on the columns, this one. We move across, and then we also locate your three on the header, which is this one. We go down, and once you have the intersection there, that is your area. So the area here for, or between 0 to 1.23 as the Z value is just equal to 0 0.3907. Or you can just simply write it in its corresponding value for the percent. We have that as 39.07%. So that is how you get it. Now let's go to another example. Let's say here we have find the area from z equal to negative 1.02 to z equal to 0. So again, your area here is connected to 0, which is also connected to the center or the mean. So once you have this, you can just right away locate your area on the z table. So how to locate that one? You look at the non-zero z value, which is negative 1.02. Now, you might be wondering why we have negative in there, where in fact, in our z table that we've used are all positive. So the z, which is negative in there, it's just an indicator as to where is your location for the z-score, whether it's found on the right side or left side. So for positive values, that's the, those are found on the right side of your zero or the mean, and those negative, those are found on the left side of your zero or the mean. So let's now locate the area. So we have here negative 1.02. So without illustration, really, you can just look for the area right away. So we locate negative 1.02. This time we have to take on the positive only. So we have 1.02 locating that one. So we take on the first two digit. So 1.0 locating that on the column. So we have that one. And your two, which is the last digit here, will be found on the header which is also the last digit on the header. So we have this one, so we go move across, and then we go down, so this is our intersection, and this is our area, which is 0 
Now, if we wanted to illustrate that one, negative 1 1.02, that will be somewhere here. And connecting a line towards the curve, then we draw the area that we are looking for. So this is now the area. So this is what we have for 0 0.3461 or 0 0.3461. Sorry on that one. Now, we can also write this one in terms of percent. So we move the decimal point towards the right side twice. So this is equivalent to 34.61 percent. So I hope that helps it. Now notice your area for the positive 1.02 and the negative 1.02, they are really the same. Only that your negative 1.02 is located on the left side. The area there is located on the left side. While the positive 1.02, the area this there is located on the right side. So I hope that's clear. So let's go to another example. So we have here, find the area from the mean to Z, which is equal to 1.36. So again, our area is in between your mean. For your normal distribution, the mean will always be at the center because your mean is equal to the median as well, which is the middle or the center of your data. So we have this as our mean. So we have mean will be also equal to zero. So 1.36, we can simply look that up on the Z table because we know that the area is coming from the mean towards Z, which is equal to 1.36. So 1.36 locating that one on the Z table right away. We have 1.3, which is the first two digit on your Z score. And then six, which is the last digit that must be on the header. So we go down and we move across to get the area which is 0 0.4131. So this is 0 0.4131, or this is simply 41.31%. And if we try to illustrate that one, this is your area, which is equivalent to 0 0.4131 or 41.31%. So let's have another example here. Now, let's say your representation of the area is like this. Now take note, when you have area, when it comes to normal distribution, this is also similar to the probability. So find the probability of Z equal to 1.21. So if this is the case, right away, your Z value or the area pertaining to the Z value, which is equal to 1.21, that is understood that that is coming from your mean. So locating that one here, this is 1.21 most likely. So the area there is this one. Okay. Now, locating that one on the table because that's already connected to your center or the mean. So we look that up on the column, the first two digit, the 1.2 there, and the one on the header. So we go down and we move across, and this is your area. So we have here 0.3869. Or this is 38.69%.